Attorneys in the Cipriano baseball bat murder trial have some demands for the judge. Carolyn Clifford joins us from the newsroom right now. Carolyn, what happened in court today? Well, Stephen, defense attorneys want two things from the judge. They want the confessions tossed out, and they are requesting two separate juries. Tucker Cipriano has been to the State Forensic Center in Ypsilanti three times now for a psychological exam to determine if he's even competent to stand trial and whether he's capable of assisting in his, in his own defense. Now, his attorney says he may have been psychotic when he and Mitchell Young attacked the Cipriano family back in April, killing his father Bob Cipriano and critically injuring his mother Rose and younger brother Sal. There's a, a wealth of information that he was abusing and using K2 and he had used that for quite some time, even a number of years. And there's some experts that uh, may come forward and indicate that long-term use of K2 could result in psychosis, and at the time of this incident, he could have been psychotic. Mitchell Young is also charged in the murder of Bob Cipriano. His defense attorney wants his own separate jury and wants his client's confession tossed out. He says it's unlikely his client waived his rights voluntarily. He had suffered a dislocated jaw and was uh, in the emergency room. He was taken from the, the scene where the police uh, took him into custody, and he went to Botsford Hospital the same as two of the victims. Cipriano will be back in court on September 25th, Young on the 26th for hearings on the motions before Circuit Court Judge Shalina Kumar. Cipriano's attorney also says Rose and Sal continue to show tremendous improvement right now. They're walking, they're talking, and 17-year-old Sal is even throwing around a football. So a little bit of good news out of so much heartache, Diana. All right, thank you, Carolyn.